Digestive System Quiz. Question number one. What is the purpose of the digestive system? Its purpose is to break down large insoluble molecules that we consume into smaller soluble molecules that can be absorbed by the body. Question number two. What are enzymes? Enzymes are large proteins that help in the breakdown of food in digestion by increasing the rate of reaction. Question number three. Name the parts of the body that food passes through in order. The order is mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and anus. Question number four. What are the three types of digestive enzymes? The three types are carbohydrates, protease, and lipase enzymes. Question number five. Where are they produced? Carbohydrase enzymes are produced in the salivary glands, pancreas, and small intestine. Protease enzymes can be found in the stomach, pancreas, and small intestine. While lipase enzymes can be found in the pancreas and small intestine. Question number six. How does the environment affect enzyme efficiency? High temperature can denature enzymes while different enzymes work best in different pH values. Question number seven. How is this maintained in the mouth, stomach, and small intestine? Protease enzymes work best in acidic conditions, which is provided by the hydrochloric acid produced in the stomach. While carbohydrate enzymes require alkaline conditions, this is why bile neutralizes acid entering the small intestine from the stomach. Question number 8. What are some other functions of hydrochloric acid and bile? Hydrochloric acid stops bacteria and viruses from entering the body if they are consumed. Bile emulsifies fats by breaking large droplets into smaller droplets. This increases the surface area, which is favorable for the lipase enzymes to act on. Question number 9. How are small soluble molecules of food absorbed into the bloodstream inside the small intestine? Food is absorbed into the blood in the small intestine through the process of diffusion. Here, molecules from an area of high concentration move to low concentration. The villi and the microvilli increase the surface area, which thereby increase diffusion rate. Question number 10. What happens to the waste that is not absorbed by the small intestine? The waste material goes through the large intestine where excess water is absorbed. Then it is excreted via the anus. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and like to see more videos like this.